I took a podcast down. Yep, I said it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Success Codes podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet, and I am so grateful you joined me today because I want to talk about something so important that is rarely talked about in the space of entrepreneurship, especially online coaching and small business in general. Like that is my target is to really help people grow, pivot, or even start a business. And there's so much learning that goes into this aspect (laughs) versus just having a job that it is mind blowing some days. So I'm going to kick off with starting this conversation about why I took down episode 65. Episode 65 was not a bad podcast. It's not why I took it down. I did ramble on a bit, but I do ramble on a bit sometimes. It's just how I am. And I didn't hate it, but something I said just wasn't where I was at anymore. And this is a huge lesson that I had to learn when I started podcasting, gosh, almost five years ago. April 2019 was when I launched the Good Karma Success Coach podcast. And this whole podcasting journey has really been mind-blowing. I could write a book about it, and it's really funny sometimes when I've signed up to take like a a podcasting course or maybe listen to someone who's a podcaster. No one talks about all the other stuff. Like they they keep it really basic. And for me at least, and I do not believe I'm alone, there's a lot of other stuff that goes into having a podcast. So what I used to do way back when for quite a long time, for several years, is judge my podcast. I would listen and I would judge it and I would go, oh, gosh, I just, why did I say that? I don't really think that way anymore, or I don't really believe that anymore. And I had to go through a journey of not judging my content. And you can relate this to anything that you put online. Maybe you're a YouTuber, maybe you have an Instagram, maybe you're on LinkedIn, maybe you're a blogger, maybe it's your website. I've been through it all with all of those things, but the podcast and and my website, I'd say, were probably the biggest part of my journey. And what I would do then is bring down the energy of my podcast. Because if you study energetics, that is just truly what happens. Like if you're excited and then you're not excited, it's like wah, wah, right? So I I moved through that, but I don't believe I had next level understanding of what was going on. And so what ended up happening this past spring and I will put the YouTube episode in the show notes, was I ended up randomly watching a YouTube episode that was about Matthew McConaughey. And something Matthew McConaughey really stuck with me and helped me shift this whole aspect of judging my content even more. And it also helped me shift in terms of my perception of others in a few ways. In the way of that some people aren't moving on their timeline and some people are. And what Matthew McConaughey said, and I'm gonna paraphrase here, was that he used to judge his content as well. So if he was interviewed by someone, The next day, he'd watch the interview again and be like, oh, God, you know, did I really say that? I don't think that way anymore. And what he was getting at that I could read between the lines was as we are working on ourselves, and again, some of us are more diligent and disciplined in terms of working on ourselves, our personal development, um, our thought processes, our behaviors, our shadows, all those things, you know, more than others, he was ascending, He was like having like a level of ascension where he was like, I don't believe that anymore. I don't think that way anymore. I have a next level thought process, right? So he had someone say to him, you know, (laughs) stop being so hard on yourself because you're the one in the field. You're the one in the middle of the football field. And all these other people are like on the sidelines and they're not the one doing the thing. And that video just really 
like, boom, catapulted me into like a more grounded understanding of the judgment of myself, of others, and shifting things into discernment and not being so hard on myself, giving myself some grace. (laughs) Like I grew up with a very very judgmental mother who makes a lot of comments like my sister and I are always like oh our mother and her comments right so when you have that as as a child and even into adulthood it's just kind of you have this wiring that you need to rewire right it's it's part of the journey it's part of a lot of um, personal development work that you know everyone has their own story and their own things they have to work through whether they put that in like a trauma bucket or not, it's it's just things we all you know have to kind of unwire and rewire and put back into our subconscious. So we take it out, we unwire it, and then we put it back in. So that was one of a really big piece of mine. And so that video, and again, I'll put the link in the show notes. I did a little video, and in that video, show notes are the original video. And I want to say it's a an interview with Lewis House. I I could be wrong because honestly, it's been a while. It was last spring. It's almost a year. But it really helped me shift. So what ended up happening with my podcast is I said something and I said something really for my own journey. It was for my own voice to claim it. And it wasn't necessarily something that probably should have been said in a podcast. Even though, again, it wasn't anything bad And it wasn't anything that even a lot of people would even pick up on, to be really honest. But I just felt icky after I said it. And it's not something, again, that needs to be said out loud. So what ended up happening was I was listening to Christina Rice channeling the Oracle. And if you haven't listened to that podcast with Christina Rice, who I consider one of my mentors, please listen to that podcast. I can't remember the exact number. It might be like 62, but I'll put the link in the show notes. And she was, this wasn't in the podcast. This was like inside her container, but the Oracle had said something that was in relation to what I had said in my podcast. And I was like, oh, is the Oracle speaking to me? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm listening. And I was like, yep, you're right. You're totally right. I don't need to say that out loud. I, I just know it now. Like, I just know it. So it was kind of like I said it out loud for my own knowing. And then I embodied it. And I'm like, I get it. I see the picture etc. So when I re-listened to the podcast then based on hearing that from the Oracle, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to delete this and share about this because circling back to what I said at the beginning of the podcast, what entrepreneurs don't share enough about, and especially online coaches and even small business owners, is the time that things fail, the times that you need to reset the times that you need to look at something and pivot and change. And quite frankly, the times you just need to delete it. (laughs) So I just needed to delete the podcast. And as I have been in lots of coaching containers over the years, let me tell you, this is very common. It is very common that someone may promote something and it doesn't sell. It is very common that someone may share something and there's crickets. It is just a really common thing. And yes, there's always opportunity to improve on, let's say, your marketing or um, content in general or a different picture or again, like redoing a podcast. But often they, they don't share all that, right? So you're looking at things through this lens of, wow, this this person, this coach, this entrepreneur, this business owner has it all together and they get it right all the time, but they don't. (laughs) They don't. And the key is, is that you pick yourself up and you keep going. You keep going. So I could have shut that podcast down and be like, oh, I suck at podcasting. I'm not doing this again. I'm over. I'm done with podcasting. My podcasting is not like this you know, it's not ginormous yet and this and that, but I'm just, I'm shutting it down. Like I'm, I'm done, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. 
but instead I was like, no, I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to podcast about why I deleted it. And it'll help someone else out there that may be really going, oh, I resonate with this because, yeah, when I look at my posts, I feel kind of yucky and I don't know why. And so you can do some work around that and try to understand, like, why are you doing this to yourself or how can you make it better, right? So I had just a little bit of ego come in and go, do you really need to shut it down? But my higher self, which is always your first reaction, it's your higher self, was like, shut it down. Shut it down and just make this a message. It said, I'm a 3-5 in human design. Like, <laughs> my, my pain and struggle is my teaching. And there you go, right? So if you have something out there where you're like, gosh, I just don't feel aligned with this anymore. This isn't my voice anymore. That could be, because that's really what happened for me. I just wasn't aligned with it anymore. I moved past it. I moved past what I had said in the podcast as a form of ascension. I was like, no, I'm good. I got this now. I see with new lenses, I'm good. I don't need to share about this. I feel really, really solid. So I hope this really shines a light on the fact that we all are in this super busy, crazy world with all these distractions. And this is kind of funny, actually. I had made this little New Year's goal, let's say, to get better on Instagram. So I started following all these Instagram marketing coaches, influencers on Instagram. Like, literally, you can look at who I'm following, and you'll see I have, like, maybe 10 Instagram gurus, right? And let me tell you, it is so, so crazy how much of the you should do this and you should do that in this collaboration, let's say, of Instagram experts and coaches that it's actually like mind blowing and extremely overwhelming. Like, and I am not someone who struggles with overwhelm, so I'm able to actually see it and not go into overwhelm. This is really important because people are like to bucket things with, oh, you're overwhelmed. I actually had this with a conversation with someone yesterday. I'm like, no, I'm not overwhelmed. I see that this is a lot of information and needs some help here, right? So we need to stop overusing the word overwhelm because it doesn't relate to everything. But when I look at all these like Instagram coaches and they're great, like, believe me, they're really good. And I'll try to spend like an hour every couple days and and go through their content and see if there's any tips that I want to pick up. The hard part is, is a lot of these tips they share are for an Apple phone, for an iPhone. And I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. So I go to try to do the tip and I can't, like I literally can't have a, a phone that doesn't, it's a Samsung. It doesn't have all these features. So that's kind of been a little bit of a wah wah disappointment. But where I'm going with this is don't let all of this external factors crowd your judgment so much. Like go with your intuition. So if you're like, you know what, I don't feel good about this. I'm going to take it down. Take it down. Like stop second guessing yourself. Stop letting the ego come in and try to override it from a place of either fear and keeping yourself small or being more like high and mighty, let's say, in the ego sense. Just shut it down. It's okay. It's truly okay to reset. It's truly okay to pivot. It's okay to just own it, claim it, be like, yep, this wasn't the greatest. I'm going to start over. This didn't sell. I'm going to try it again. But don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it cause a delay that stops any type of momentum. I can raise my hand high on this with speaking. Oh my goodness. I definitely... I'd have a speaking event that didn't go so great. It would shut me down for like a month. And let me tell you, getting that momentum back is really, really hard. It's really, really hard. So don't do that yourself. Like just like move, give yourself grace, take the reset, take the do over, take the pivot and just keep going. If you need to take a day and shed some tears or like beat yourself up, whatever, just move through the emotions. I'm not saying bury emotions, please do ever get me wrong. Do not bury the emotions, but move through it, take a day and then get back on the horse. Like that's how it works. So I just wanted to share this personal story in case someone was wondering like what happened to episode 65? That's what happened. I took it down. 
And I'll talk more about time in, in another podcast. That was probably the only piece that I really loved from that podcast was just sharing about how, um, you know, some time tips and also about the New Codes Collective, which kicked off and I'm super excited about that group and also the personalized activations. So anyhow, check out my website for that information. I'm going to keep this podcast as it is and just on these nuggets. And yeah, I'd love to hear from you. So if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a comment and let me know what resonated because I want people to really understand that you're not alone out there. There's just a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that no one talks about. And if we just are more authentic and transparent and talk about these things, we'll really be helping everyone as a collective to be able to just keep going and not give up. All right. I'm sending this with much love until next time. Thank you for listening and check out my show notes for all the information that I spoke about. All right. Thanks.